Up next on Lion TV, we have updated sports coverage, a new Lion of the Week, and... Oh, hey, I didn't see you there, but I'm just checking out this beautiful fall weather. I'll tell you more about that coming up. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Welcome to another episode of Lion TV. I hope you're having a fair delicious Wednesday morning. I'm Brooklyn Morgan. And I'm Everett Kirkman. We're here to bring you some updated announcements from around campus. Flu packets were sent home on the 23rd. These packets need to be returned to the nurse by November 2nd. Red Ribbon Week is happening this week, and this year's theme is Your Future is Key, so stay drug free. Today is Peace Out to Drugs, 70s Day. You will dress up in 70s clothing. Thursday is Sock It to Drugs, Wear Crazy Socks. Friday is Team Up Against Drugs, Team Jersey Day. Students will wear their favorite team jersey. If you ordered homecoming pictures, you can pick them up in the East Office. Now let's send things over to Zion with Lion of the Week. What's up, Cersei High School? I'm here with your Lion of the Week. Kenzie, how you doing? I'm good. All right, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Uh, so how long have you been football manager? Well, I moved to this school and my friend Katie Cohen Hey Katie, um, she texted me and she was like, we need a filmer, would you want to do that? And I was like, yeah, totally. And so I've been a filmer for about two and a half months maybe. Okay. And so a part of being a football manager, what kind of jobs involve that besides just filming? Um, there's making ice bags, helping Corey with what he needs, there's water ball water bottle filling, there's wrapping the players' wrists, their feet, there's making sure that they have everything on game day, making sure that their bags are packed, making sure everything's loaded and ready to go. Awesome. And so uh, what is it like dealing with the football players? Because I know like some of them can be like really rowdy and stuff like that. You know? It's rambunctious at times. The boys, they like to pick on you like you're their younger sister mm -hmm. and they like kind of show you that they're you know, older, but then at the same time they don't. That kind of sounded awkward. Yeah, no, I got it. And so, what does it uh, take as far as patience goes? You know, having to deal with a lot of stress and a lot of just last-minute things. Oh, we forgot to grab, you know, this thing or something. What is that like? It takes a lot of patience because some boys will last minute. They'll be like, Oh, I don't have the right color pants, or Oh, they gave me the wrong size pants, or it's just, or the this doesn't taste right. And so you have to have a lot of patience when it comes to them. Yeah. And so, uh, all right, well, that's all the questions I have. But also, I just wanted to say happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kat. Let's go. It's my best friend's birthday. Technically, it was today slash yesterday, but we're going to be airing this tomorrow. But I just wanted to say happy birthday to my best friend. And that's all I have for today. So thanks for coming. No problem. And back to the news desk. Thank you for that special interview. The Drama Department will host our annual Haunted Theater on October 26th and 28th from 4.30 to 9 p.m. in the Searcy High School Performing Arts Center. Cost is $5 or five cans of food. Come join us for a hauntingly good time. Congratulations to the SHS Marching Line Band for earning straight first division ratings at the ASBOA Region 4 Marching Assessment at Lions Stadium on Tuesday night. And congratulations to the students who made All Region. They'll sing at All Region Clinic in Jonesboro the first Saturday in November. The students in the mixed chorus will have the opportunity to audition for Allstate the first Friday in February. Congratulations to all the SHS choir students who represented our school so well. There will be a ninth grade Pink Out Pep Rally Tuesday, October 31st. We invite everyone to come out to the game dressing your best pink out attire for the game. We hope to see you there. Also, please excuse ninth grade cheer at 2.30 and students at 2.45. UCA rep Jared Wycliffe will be on campus on November 8th. He'll be available to assist seniors interested in attending UCA who need to complete their admissions application. Students who complete their application on November 8th with Jared will not be charged the application fee. Visit www.studentscholarships.org and register for scholarships for which Arkansas students are eligible to apply. 
Searcy High School will offer the ASVAB, Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, on November 14th. This test provides valuable insight to students as they plan their career goals, even students not interested in the military. Any interested 11th or 12th grade student must sign up in the Guidance Center by November 7th. K-Club members need to drop by Mr. Snow's room 112 and sign up for the pancake breakfast as soon as possible. This is scheduled for November 7th. Also, sign up to give blood during the Key Club blood drive coming up on November 16th. We will also need a few workers for the blood drive. Now, after all those announcements, let's take a look at weather with our trendy man of the hour, Owen Summerland. Good morning, Cersei High School. I am Owen Summerland, here to bring you your updated forecast for this morning, whether or not you like it. <laughs> All right, let's head on to your weather for today. You're going to have a high of 67. It's going to be sunny, 0% chance of rain. Winds will be going west at 10 miles per hour. Humidity, 49%, and your sun rose at 721 a.m. On to tonight. You're going to have a low of 44 degrees. It's going to be mostly clear with a moon and about two stars in the sky. 0% chance of rain. Your wind's going at west-southwest, 4 miles per hour. Humidity at 66%, and your sun will set at 619 p.m. On to the almanac. High average temperature has been 92 degrees. Your low has been 39. Your monthly average of precipitation has been 4.70 inches and your month to date is 0.51 inches. Now let's speed walk on over to that five cast. Thursday it will be sunny with a high of 76, low of 47, 0% chance of rain. Friday will be PM showers will have high of 54, 32 is your low, 50% chance of rain. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 56, low of 34, 0% chance of rain. Sunday will also be sunny, high 59, low of 36, 0% chance of rain. And Monday we will be sunny again, high of 63, low of 42, and 0% chance of rain. Well, uh, what do you guys think of this weather coming up here? I'm excited. It's going to get a little chilly this weekend. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm just hoping that it stays pretty cold. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, here at Lions TV, we'd like to give a big thank you to uh, Mr. Hester for being a great viewer and always viewing the program. Thank you so much. Our biggest fan, honestly. And let's take a look at our lunch. Today, we'll be having a turkey and cheese panini, spaghetti and meatballs, dinner roll, baby carrots, baked beans, pineapple chunks, grapes, cupcake comma chocolate, and milk. Now let's send things over to Donovan for our updated sports coverage for the upcoming weekend. Good morning, Cersei High. I'm here to give you the latest on what's been going on in Cersei sports. Last week, the Lady Lions volleyball team went on to defeat West Memphis to secure a five seed for the state tournament. Last night, the Lady Lions played Russellville. Unfortunately, we have not been updated on that outcome. But if they won, they will play at 2 p.m. today. So good luck, ladies. Now let's take a look at Friday's monster win against the Jonesboro Hurricanes. Mason Shucker was 15 for 22, 300 yards, and two touchdowns. Senior running back Gabe Chapman led the way in rushing with 21 carries and 111 yards and three touchdowns. Wide receiver Tripp and Williams with the Tripp having six rece receptions for 114 yards while Williams has three receptions for 108 yards. On the other side of the ball, it was a good game for the defense, defense as well, with three sacks and fumble recovery made by Randy Joyner and two interceptions, one by Bobby Graham for 10 yards and one by Taj Franklin for 85 yards plus a touchdown. Next up for the Lions is travel to Mountain Home to take on the Bombers. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Well, we talked to Bobby Graham to get an inside look into Friday's Friday night's matchup. Uh, we're just working on run schemes because they have a big running back that we're trying to prepare for. So we're just getting some big bodies on defense. Oh, it feels amazing. A big win for us, Jonesboro. <laughs> Always been a big uh, team to play against and it just feels good. Well, we've been making adjustments. They put me on offense for this week and they've moved a couple people to uh, defense. So. Me, myself, I'm working on catching again and getting used to that. Looking at national sports, this past week concluded the start of NBA tip-off weekend and this season is underway. And we have a hot team on the rise. And no, it's not the Golden State Warrior, Warriors. This year, it's the Memphis Grizzlies who have start, started 3-0 this season. This is the second time the team has started 3-0. The first being in the 2014-15 season where they started 6-0. Saturday, the Memphis Grizzlies defeated the Golden State Warriors by a score of 111-101. to 101. 
Mark Casal put the team on his back and carried them to victory with 34 points in the game. Late in the fourth quarter, Stephen Curry was ejected for throwing his mouthpiece in the direction of a referee, and Durant followed him after the use of foul language. Then on Monday, the Memphis Grizzlies made a fourth quarter comeback to defeat the Houston Rockets 98-90. Once again, Mark Gasol led the way with 26 points, followed by Mike Conley with 17. We will see how the team performs the rest of the season as they take on the Dallas Mavericks tonight at 7 p.m. Well, Cersei, that's all I have for sports today. Let's throw it back to the anchors at the news desk. Thanks so much, Donovan. And with that, we'll wrap up today's show. I'm Everett Kirkman. And I'm Brooklyn Morgan. If you missed an episode of Lion TV, just go to CerseiLionPress.com and click on the Watch Us Now link. And while you're at it, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV and on Instagram and Facebook at Cersei Lion TV. We hope you have a spectacular rest of the day and rest of the week. We'll see you next week on our special spooky Halloween show.